Wow, we learned a lot from Dr. Chambers. I wrote this from our trip. Don't forget to add water, vapor, and condensation. I know that's a clue because it's how rain is made. Hi, where's Dr. D? Is he here today? We haven't seen him yet. Hi guys, I'm here. You have that look like you're working on something. We're concerned about missing our physics fair because of the storm. We don't want to miss riding those roller coasters. Can you give us some clues on how to understand the weather? Sure. Something you definitely need to understand is energy. There's an electric motor that provides the energy to raise a roller coaster car to the top of the first hill, and then gravity takes over. What energy source makes the weather happen? Do you mean what makes the winds blow? Or what raises the rain into the clouds, just like the roller coaster was lifted? Exactly. I don't know. I think you do. It's the same energy source that makes the plants grow. Oh, the sun. I knew that. When the sun heats the earth, sun rays become hotter than others. It's this uneven heating that produces the winds. Wind? It can make wind? Air always moves from region of higher pressure to region of lower pressure. Wait, Dr. D, we haven't learned about pressure yet. What's that? I guess I better slow down a little bit. Air is made up of molecules like oxygen and nitrogen. They are constantly in motion, traveling in straight lines until they bounce off of something. So you mean right now we're being bombarded with molecules? That's right. Molecules bounce off of something and they apply a force to that object. This force creates what we call air pressure. Let me show you an example. These hemispheres have molecules bouncing off the outside. I've taken most of the air out of the middle, so there are very few molecules on the inside pushing out. Here, try to pull it apart. Wow, this is really hard. That force you talked about is very real. Now, if I let the air back into the middle, we'll have molecules both pushing out and pushing in. The pressure on the outside the same as the pressure on the inside. It shouldn't be a problem. It's much easier now. Let's try something else. Put on your goggles and safety glasses. I'm gonna heat the air inside this can. There's a little bit of water in it. I'm gonna turn the can upside down into the pan of water. And the pressure in the can is gonna drop very, very quickly. And the higher pressure air on the outside is gonna crush the can. Watch this. <laughs> That's amazing. Now, when I blow up this balloon, I'll be increasing the density of the air inside. That means the molecules will be more tightly packed. This makes the pressure on the inside greater than the pressure on the outside. I knew that was going to happen. So that's what you meant when you said the air went from a region of higher pressure, like the balloon, to a region of lower pressure, like this room. Very good. Now suppose you're at the beach in the summer. The sand is hot and it warms the air above it. Now warmer air has a lower pressure than cooler air because it's less dense. Now the air above the ocean is cooler, therefore it has a higher pressure than air above the sand. What happens? Well, I would think just like the balloon, that the wind will blow from the higher pressure air across the ocean toward the lower pressure air on the beach. Very good. That's what's called a sea breeze. Here's an update from the Hey, look, the there's channel. an update from the, the weather channel. Wave that we reported earlier has slightly strengthened and become more organized with maximum sustained wind now at 30 miles per hour. This system has been upgraded to a tropical depression. It is currently located at 15 degrees north and 40 degrees west, and it is moving northwest at 20 miles per hour. Here's a globe. Look, here are the Antilles Islands. I think we should start tracking the storm, don't you? Oh, I don't think so. It's far away. We don't need to worry about it. Yes, we do. The storm has turned into a tropical depression. I don't want to miss the physics fair or our trip to Florida.